Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Thursday, December the 29th. It's the first week in Christmas, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 18, verse 1 to 20, and John chapter 2, verse 1 through 11, and the canticle, the Song of Zechariah, Luke 1, verse 68 through 79. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Psalm 18 I love you, my God, my strength my rock, my fortress, my savior. You are my rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. You are worthy of all praise. When I call you, I am saved from my foes. The waves of death rose about me, the torrents of destruction assailed me, the snares of the grave entangled me, the traps of death confronted me, and in my anguish I called you, I cried to you, God, for help, and from you, temple, you heard my voice, my cry came to your ears. And then the earth reeled and rocked, the mountains were shaken to their base, they reeled at your terrible anger, and smoke came forth from your nostrils, and scorching fire from your mouth, coals were set ablaze by its heat. And you lowered the heavens, and you came down, a black cloud under your feet. You came enthroned upon the cherubim. You flew on the wings of the wind. You made the darkness your covering, the dark waters of the clouds your tent. A brightness shone out before you with hailstones and flashes of fire. You thundered in the heavens. Most high, you let your voice be heard. You shot your arrows and scattered the foe, flashed your lightnings and put them to flight. The bed of the ocean was revealed. The foundations of the world were laid bare. At the thunder of your threat, O God Most High, at the blast of the breath of your anger. And from on high you reached down and you seized me, and you drew me out of the mighty waters and you snatched me from my powerful foe and from my enemies whose strength I could not match. They assailed me in the day of my misfortune, but you were my support. You brought me forth into freedom and you saved me because you loved me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. The Wedding at Cana. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his di disciples had also been invited to the wedding. And when the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. And his mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. And Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, Now draw out some and take it to the chief steward. And so they took it. And when the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn it knew. The steward called the bridegroom and said to him, 
everyone serves the good wine and uh, ha- everyone serves the good wine first and then the inferior wine after the guests have begun drunk become drunk but you have kept the good wine until now and Jesus did this the first of his signs in Cana in Galilee and revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him here ends the lesson Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the Holy Church, for Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders and for all the holy people of God. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease and that all may be one as you and the Father are one for peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. For those in positions of public trust, especially Barack, our president, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and the freedom of every person. For a blessing upon all human labor and for the right use of the riches of creation that the world may be freed from poverty and famine and disaster for the unemployed, especially Brian and Robert and Carrie. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, especially Ed, and all who suffer, for refugees and prisoners, especially Christian, and all who are in danger, for the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Ronald Francis. For this congregation, for those who are present and those who are absent, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all we do. For our enemies and for those who wish us harm and for all whom we have injured or offended. For all who commended themselves to our prayers, our families, friends, and neighbors, that being freed from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and help for the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. The Song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, for you've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. 
Go town on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go town on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. We trust in the mercy of God forever. Add glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia and Merry Christmas.